I received a text message from a law enforcement source at 2.34 a.m. early Sunday morning reading, quote, if you are awake, OPD and OCSO working active shooter at a club over 20 shot, Orange and Cayley area. Immediately, I was taken aback by the news and knew the city of Orlando would be shaken and awakened by this massacre. I pulled into a 7-Eleven at the corner of Gore and Orange. I saw two men crying, hugging, visibly shaken to the core. I didn't have a camera crew with me and knew these two would not want to talk about what happened just down this street. I approached them, cutting through the smoke of their cigarettes, and simply said, can I please pray for your friends? Both men started crying, and I began to pray as we held hands in a three-man circle. At the hospital, we had several different roller coasters of emotions. Police detonated a suspicious device when I was on live TV. The quarter mile distance away was loud enough to create a panic, but we weren't in the earshot to know this was a controlled explosion. Okay. Also on live TV, unmarked police trucks screamed past us on Orange Avenue with patients piled in the back of those truck beds and more vehicles and ambulances continued to follow. That created a sense of panic because these families we were among held their breath, hoping their loved one will be the one that was rescued. Christine Lyonen grabbed me on camera, a lot of emotion, not knowing where her son was, squeezed me tight, and cried on my shoulder. And back here live, Christine, uh, her son was next to, she says, her son's boyfriend who was shot multiple times and then rushed to the hospital. His name was Juan Ramon Guerrero, and he is on that list that Orlando Police has released as one of the people that have passed away from this incident. Uh, we've been searching for Christine, sent her multiple messages. Uh, we have not heard back from her. We do not know the update on her son uh, this evening as well. Now, throughout all the great things that have been going on here with the volunteers that have come to the aid of all these people that are suffering so much, we have now just seen our first protester. Uh, who has also arrived in here. It's, a, it's an anti-gay protester. As you all know, this is a, a, a gay club, or, or very friendly to gays. A lot of uh, gay people were involved with this whole shooting. So uh, for the first time, we've seen our, our, a protester who has arrived at this area, but everything else has been nothing but love and a lot of people supporting each other. Putting live in front of ORMC, Stuart Moore, West 2 News.